What's going on guys, it's Kyle here and welcome back to my brand to a brand new video on my channel. Today I have something that I haven't done in a while, a Blu-ray update or haul, because I, I went to a store today, I know my third place in the world, disc replay, I know, I haven't said that in a while, but I picked up six titles for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys today all the titles I got. One uh, most of them have something to do with another, but I have two that are that do stand out. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Quick little note from editing Kyle, you're gonna hear a really loud noise in the background. You might even hear it right now. That's because I have the fan running in this video because it's hot as hell. And um, I don't want to be sweating throughout the entire video. So sorry for the loud noise. Hopefully you can still hear me. Uh, I'll make sure that you guys can try to hear me as best, you, uh, as, best as I possibly can. Uh, but anyways, continue with the video. All right, first up we have um, a film that I saw last year and was pretty popular, but not enough people really liked it much enough. I didn't really get many awards, attentions, uh, uh, attention, and uh, I wanted to rewatch it, and I thought, why not buy it, because I already have the his first film, and that is Us by one, the one and only Jordan Peele. Um, but like I said, I liked this movie a lot. I thought it was great, and has a lot of great social commentary with... Um, how blacks are treated in America. There's also, there's also a lot of uh, great foreshadowing in it. Um, I remember watching it, I think I think I saw it twice, and both times are good, I think. Um, but I think maybe with a third watch, this might become uh, a four and a half or a five star material. But here's the case. I like the, the art on it. Um, bonus features include the monsters within us, and tethered together, making us twice. Also includes deleted scenes, refining a genre, Jordan Peele's brand of horror, we are all dying, as above, so below, grand pas de do, becoming red, the duality of us, and scene exploration. So that's pretty cool. But uh, inside, it's very basic, just the Blu ray and the DVD release since it was disc replay. So yeah, I might not get any inserts with it. Um, it was supposed to come with the digital, but must have already been used, but um, that was us. And the other one that stands out from the rest is um, the film that comes after Rocky Balboa, which was the re uh, the, re the regeneration of the series, and that is Creed. Um, I saw this once, loved it, and now I own it, so I can rewatch it whenever I want. Um, Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone are amazing here. Um, I love the presentation. It, very uplifting, and it's it's very close to probably being better than the first Rocky. It's definitely like this my second favorite out of the series, but um, here is or the special features include know the past, own the future, cast and crew talk about the challenges of building on the Rocky series, becoming Adonis, seeing how Michael B. Jordan uh, prepared for the hardcore training sequences and fights, and deleted scenes. Here's the case. It's fine. Back. And once again, a very basic release, the Blu-ray and the DVD, all in a black disc. So the last four all have to do with something in common. Uh, I have never seen this series before. I own the first one now, thanks to that DVD that came in my um, uh, in the big mystery box. But now I have four more of them, and I need two more, and I have the complete series. I can finally watch all these for the first time. Um, let's get right into it. First up, I have. Too Fast, Too Furious, can you guess what they all are? <laughs> uh, this one is the second one in the series, and I heard it's very mixed, but um, I've not seen it. I like the case though, it looks pretty cool. The, the, with the art, artwork. Um, bonus features include fast females, not sure what that means. Hollywood Impact, additional features include in, Inside Too Fast, Too Furious, feature commentary with director John Singleton, uh, deleted scenes and outtakes, actor driving school, tricking out a hot Im import car, D-Box, motion enabled, and much more. So, oh, I didn't even know, this is this one's directed by John Singleton, same guy who did uh, Boys in the Hood. Here's the disc. There's actually some artwork to it, so that's always nice to see. And then next, I have the third one, Tokyo Drift, and this is the one that gets kind of mixed reviews as well. I think the first three are the ones that people don't really like that much, and I think by the fourth one is when people start to like, oh yeah, these are awesome. But uh, yeah, this one looks kind of interesting. It's all I think it's an all Chinese cast or an all Asian cast, so that should be uh, quite intriguing. Here's the back. Um, bonus features include making of the Fast franchise, Drift, a sideways craze, Custom-made drifter, picture-in-picture, 
feature commentary with director Justin Lin, deleted scenes, drifting school, and much more. And this one just has a basic disc. And then we have the fourth one, Fast and Furious. Not to be confused with The Fast and the Furious. This is just Fast and Furious. Um, I haven't seen this one either. Like, I mean, I haven't seen all of them, but um, I'm just gonna keep repeating myself because I like to. Uh, here's the case. I like, I like this one. It's red. Red's my favorite color, so I like how it's uh, got a red uh, tint or a red color to the case. That's always fun. Uh, bonus features include original short film, Los Bandoleros. Under the Hood, Muscle Cars and Imports, Getting the Gang Back Together, Driving School with Vin Diesel, Shooting the Big Heist, or the Big Rig Heist, and much more. And this one has a digital copy, if anyone wants it. And take it. All right, and here is the disc, very basic. Basic universal release disc. Nothing crazy. And lastly, I know it's not really that big of a haul, but hey, it's something at least, right? We have Fast Five, which is when people realize that these movies are nuts and they love them. And this one also includes an extended edition, which is interesting. Uh, here's the, oh, this one's purple. I like this one, this one's purple. And uh, here's the spine, here's the back. Uh, bonus features include the big train heist, reuniting the team, a new set of wheels, Dom versus Hobbs, Tyrese TV, Inside the Vault Chase, on set with director Justin Lin, and more. Oh no, here's, there's more down here. Uh, deleted Scenes, Gag Reel, Dom's Journey, Brian O'Connor from Fed to Con, Enter Federal Agent Hobbs, Feature Commentary with director Justin Lin, and that's it. Okay. This one should have had a DVD in it, but they only had the Blu-ray on hand, so they gave me the Blu-ray instead, and that's okay with me. I like the Blu-ray, so... Um, that's the haul. <laughs> and yes, now I have the first one on DVD. I could have got the first one on Blu-ray, but I already own it, so what's the point of buying another one, you know? And I also have this from like a long time ago, the, the sixth one on Steelbook. Have not seen it, because why would I watch the sixth one? I haven't seen the other ones, so. But I have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I just need seven and eight, and I have them all. Well, that's the haul. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave a like and subscribe to see some more content just like this. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you get notified when I make a new video. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, my letterbox, and my stardust will be down below in the description box. Check those out um, for extra content. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day or, or fantastic start of your day if you're watching this in the morning. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.